In this lesson, you will rig, animate, and add fur to Furdude, a two-legged creature. This lesson uses Kinefex, Houdini's new SOP-based procedural rigging tools. These tools are used primarily for retargeting workflows, but also include tools for rigging characters and creatures. There's a PDF with step-by-step -step instructions to help you work through this lesson. This is designed to work along with the videos you are watching right now. Here is a quick overview of the lesson. You'll begin by opening the scene file and reviewing the fur dude geometry. Then place joints using the skeleton tool. Capture the geometry using a biharmonic method that gives great results with your first capture so that you can start testing out your rig right away. The procedural networks in Houdini let you go back and add joints, and all the other nodes, including the biharmonic capture, will update to reflect these changes. You will orient some of the joints by hand, then use a reorient joints node to point all the other joints down the z-axis. You can now use paint capture weights to adjust the weights using a brush workflow. This will let you control how the upper lips and toe areas are captured. You are going to pack the eyes, teeth, and claw geometry, then assign each part to a joint using the capture pack geometry node. The capture geometry in the skeleton can now be wrapped up into a digital asset that can be used as the foundation for the animation rig. Next you will create a second digital asset that will contain all the rigging tools such as inverse kinematics and aim constraints. To provide more flexibility with control rig, you will add a root joint, heel joint for reverse foot setup and a look at point for you to target with the eyeball. To add kinematics, you need to break the current hierarchy where the feet are under the COG. You can break off a few joints and reparent them to build the hierarchy you need. IK allows you to set up the joints where moving either the feet or the hips causes the knee to bend. To control the feet, you will create a classic reverse foot setup where the heel becomes the root, then the toe, ball, and ankle are parented to that. To make all of the leg and spine controls available to the animator, the parameters need to be promoted to the top level of the asset. The next step is to set up the eyelids with control geometry to make it easier to select these overlapping joints. You will also set up the eye target joint as a look at for the eyeball using a section of Houdini called VOPS. It is time to keyframe a walk cycle for the fur dude character. This will involve new tools such as the channel list to pin down channels for blocking out motion. Fur dude gets his name for a reason and you are going to add fur and work with a variety of grooming tools. To render the shot you will reference USD files onto the Solera stage, then add a background. Next you will import the fur, then add and position a camera and a light. The Karma render will be invoked create a preview render of the shot, then to render out the animated sequence.